this Saturday night, December 15th, from Madison Square Garden in New York. The debut of Saul El Canelo Alvarez on the DAZN streaming app. He will face super middleweight champion Rocky Felding for the WBA World Super Middleweight title. How do these two fighters stack up? Saul Alvarez currently holds the WBA and WBC World Middleweight titles. He's 28 years old, he's 5 foot 8, and has a 70 and a half inch reach. Canelo's professional record is 50 wins, 1 loss, 2 draws, 34 big wins by KO. He has a 64% stoppage ratio. Rocky Felding is 31 years of age. He's an Englishman who stands at 6 foot 1, 5 inches in height over Canelo. Felding's professional record is 27 wins, 1 loss, 0 draws, 15 KOs. For Canelo Alvarez, winning a title at super middleweight would place him in a very elite group of men from Mexico who have successfully won championships in three different weight classes. Alvarez won his first world title on March 5, 2011 at the Honda Center in Anaheim when he defeated Matthew Hatton. Fast forward to 2015, November 21st, Miguel Cotto versus Saul Alvarez from the Mandalay Bay. Unanimous decision victory for Saul Alvarez. Canelo won the WBC middleweight title that night. And now he's looking for a third weight division world championship against this man, Rocky Felding, who just won the title on July 14th of this year in Germany against Tyrone Zeg via TKO in the fifth round of their fight. Felding has held regional titles in England like the BBFC English Super Middleweight title, the Commonwealth British Empire Super Middleweight title, and has even held the WBC International Super Middleweight strap. This will be his first real world title defense. He is going 12 rounds against a man who is used to going 12 rounds with some of the greatest fighters of all time. He's gone 12 rounds with Shane Mosley, Floyd Mayweather, Miguel Cotto, and Gennady Golov. Rocky Felding has never fought anyone close to the caliber of Saul Alvarez. The one and only time he's ever stepped up in class, Felding was knocked out in the first round, and that was on November 7, 2015, when he fought Kalen Smith at the Echo Arena in Liverpool. My prediction for this is simple. Felding is the slower fighter who has a very questionable chin, is not used to being taken to the later rounds, and I believe that's what's going to happen on Saturday night. Alvarez will wait to unleash his real power in the later rounds, take him into deep waters, attack the body, making Felding fight like a small man, and knocking out Felding in the 11th round of this fight. And that's my prediction. Alvarez will take his time with the bigger fighter who's a champion, not rush in and knock him out in the 11th, becoming the WBA World Super Middleweight Champion in the process.